I want to discuss a recent incident you publicly addressed. Yeah. On Instagram, the R&B R &B singer Trey Zongs. He mm -hmm. was a guest here. Ah. He released a new music video for his song, Pick Up the Phone, and you make a cameo appearance, as I understand it. But you say you never authorized him to use your likeness. Yeah. Okay. What were you doing there if you didn't want to be in the video? Well, it was a party. Oh, it was, it was a, re yeah, regular party. You know, I was in Miami for New Year's, a lot of friends there, people there. You know, so I just went to hang out and then it, it turned into a video. You didn't know it would be a video? No, I didn't know. Did you see cameras? Well, yeah, when I started to see cameras, I was like, okay, they filming a video, ain't got nothing to do with me, you know, in, until they started asking me to be in it. They did ask you to be in it? Yeah, more and than once. you said no? Yeah, more than once. Why did you say no? Because I wasn't in the right mind. I had been drinking and eating, and it wasn't a professional environment. It was not a, a place where I'm like, I'm in the right mind to decide if this works with my brand, if I like the artist. I don't know nothing about the artist that it's also in the song. Did you say no to the producer or to Trey? I said first no to the producer, then said no to the assistant, and then said no to Trey, and then said it again after I, you know, came out the closet. What did you mean by sexual intimidation? I mean... Just that, sexual intimidation, you know, I mean, like, I feel as a female, often I'm put in situations where sometimes males will use their masculinity, their, their sexuality to taunt you. You know, I, I hate to have to bring and say that and, and, and make it known, but I mean, look, I ain't the first person that's gone through. People have gone through this all the time in college, in high school, but these aren't the things that I've experienced. So this was like kind of one of my first major experiences, you know, it would be like you going to a party where the biggest jock is there, and the whole time he's like, you know, you can get, you can get screwed, you can get this, you can get that, you know, and you ain't no little girl no more. Have you heard from Trey since you posted it? I haven't heard from him directly, no. Who'd you hear from? I heard from my manager, you know. And your manager said manager. what? The same thing that everybody always says, you know, uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. So your manager had no knowledge of No, not my manager saying that, you know, Trey said I didn't know. Are you planning to take legal action? Yes, I am. I mean, the video is down now. But, I mean, but more it so, out, it, it, right? it's, it's, it's out and it's over, but I feel more so my point isn't to say, it's, it's not just specifically about this person, this guy, and what he did. It's the overall idea that you can't just do stuff to people and it's all right, no matter who you are. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.